This 2006 Prevo Liberty Coach just came on the market. Andrew, let's take it for a test drive, see what you think. Let's do it. Doug, have you ever owned uh, or driven an H3 Liberty Coach before? No, sir, first one for me. I'm super excited uh, and uh, really, really honored to be able to represent this coach. We are. Uh, me and my wife both are really excited about the next few days. So, Doug just bought this H3 Liberty coach. It is going to go on the market. We're out here in Arizona right now. Doug also just sold his personal XL2 Liberty coach. So I think he might be he might be selling himself this coach. But listen, I, think, I, don't, I don't I don't want to buy this coach because it's 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 definitely I'm not uh, in the category of how much this coach costs. But man, oh man. This is, uh, well, let's let's take it for a spin. I want to hear around. I want to hear your perspective of how it rides compared to your XL2, yep. um, and then we're gonna also walk down the coach while it's driving. Let's let's roll. Let's do it. Now, is there a step cover for the passenger oh, yes, here? Yes, sir. There is. I got it right here. Boom! Came out real quickly. That same high-end wood flooring like we're gonna see in the rest of the coach and. My first observations are just how high-end all of this leather work is on the dash. And I like the positioning of the H3. You've got the taller windshields. We do have those sun shades slightly down. We can put these up. Passenger visor. I'm going to put that up just so we get the full. Can I put yours up too? Is yeah. that cool? Yeah. You're going to hear a little beeping here, Andrew. That's me uh, taking the pressure, raising that tag up. Yep. So we can make this turn without scrubbing those rear tires. Yep. Yeah, new date codes on these tires. So um, if, if, you have, if you haven't seen in other videos, that tag lift lifts the rear tag axle so that it's not rubbing and the coach can make a tighter turn. What are your first thoughts on this? First thoughts on this coach are there's a massive amount of uh, space above the driver to be able to see. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, this coach feel, it drives different than the XL. And I don't even think that's a negative thing. I'm, this is just quiet and smooth. Uh, you can barely hear the engine even running back there. Uh, this is this is the real deal here. Yeah, beautiful day here in Fountain Hills, Arizona too. Doug, you're a long ways from Kentucky. This is a spectacular area, Andrew. I, I think, uh, thank you. Didn't you say you grew up here? This is where I grew up, Fountain Hills, Arizona. Wow. So very, wow. Very good place to grow up for sure. What are so the temperatures like here in the summertime? Hot. You don't want to be here in the summer. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yes, sir. but let me uh, take everybody uh, down the road. I'm gonna take them to the back of the coach while we're going down the road here. You just keep going straight. I'll uh, I'll give you directions. Uh, it's a real cool, e easy roads to get around in this town. So, yeah, this is it's it's amazing to think that this is a 2006 and how quiet this is and. Um, We recently did a test drive video in a 98 Liberty that Doug has available. It might be sold by now, but um, I'll leave that in the description below and you can just compare the noise. But this is like, this is probably one of the quietest coaches I've ever been in going down the road. We'll keep showing everyone. He's hitting that brakes right now oh it looks like the fountain's going off so all right this used to be the world's tallest fountain on the right here uh we're gonna see that in a second before dubai outdid us but doug did you see the fountain at all yeah when we saw it we seen it we saw it last night and it actually had some blue color in it uh but i got to see it in the daytime yesterday too and i think it's uh I sure would like to sit out there for one afternoon with a maybe a picnic basket, <laughs> maybe a couple cold cervezas. Yes, sir. And uh, just sit out there on that grass and relax. But this is pretty cool stuff. This is a test drive video forward slash uh, area view. Yeah, tour of Fountain Hills, yeah. Arizona while we're taking this test drive. And I did another 21 Liberty Coach test drive in this area, but there's the Fountain Park over there. They have 
have these little things in the road to you know, make sure you're stopping. And the fountain is not going as high as it usually does today because it's a little windy. It usually goes like two or three times that high, but. And this is, this is super smooth, Doug. So do you know how much dough you're gonna need for this coach? Yeah, I think this coach is gonna be priced very competitive in the market. You think I could drive this bus? Absolutely. You're getting ready to experience the what the difference is between a meticulous ownership history and just a regular bus. This bus is legitimately as new, in my opinion, course i've never you've driven a 2021 or 2022 yeah. liberty so i don't know you be you tell me what you think oh the difference. my gosh well when you have the brand new tire when you have the the new tires on it this is smoother than the xl too definitely like the xl that we've driven lately um i mean it's so it's been so long since i've driven a 21 but like right away this is way smoother than my 2000 newel like not even i mean not to knock on that at all, but this is a different. Or my is my tag up still? Uh, no, it's down now. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the. It, this is a beep. This one beeps on you. All right, which is a good thing, is you want to know when your tag's up. Want to keep those rear tires as fresh as possible. Yeah, the steering is just so smooth. I'm gonna accelerate here. And the acceleration. I haven't driven as many H's as I, I have XL2s. And the H, I think, is a little softer ride, a little more refined, just a little bit smoother. I mean, there's a reason that all the new Liberties from like 2012 or 13 going forward are all the H's and not the XL's. And I think pretty much Featherlight is exclusive on the the H platform as well as Emerald uh, and Marathon is Millennium. A, you know, Millennium. I think Millennium is exclusive. Emerald has done a few of the X3s. Uh, my good buddy Jimbo has an X3 uh, bunk coach yeah. and Marathon does some X3s as well. But I mean, Millennium, Liberty, and Featherlight I think are exclusive. I'm going to say it's probably 20 to 1 ratio in my, from what I've yes. seen. You know, from from X X3 to a H3 on on the newer side. Oh yeah, the Marathon makes a lot more H's than X's. Same thing, Emerald makes a lot more H's than X's. But uh, I can't it, wait to get my hands on an Emerald coach in the future. Yeah, Emeralds are nice coaches, man. Uh, there's just so few of them, and yeah, John yeah. Walker runs a good organization. And there's but, another shot of that fountain. It's still going at this absolutely stunning park here in Fountain Hills, Arizona. I mean, just spectacular. This community is, uh, this is special. I, I, it's got a feel to it. I'm, I'm, I'm a little jealous that you got to grow up here, Andrew, to be completely Man, honest. Man, I have a lot to be thankful for. This you are, would you place. say you're blessed? Very, very blessed. Now, I did get shipped to boarding military school in Wisconsin, that's so. Probably, that's probably your own fault. That, yeah, no, <laughs> you know, yeah. it wasn't all uh, cake and ice cream growing up, but a lot to be thankful for. It's a great place for sure. Well, I think, I think definitely, uh, I, I had a rough childhood and, uh, you know, going to military school would definitely be a shock. That's for sure. So uh, maybe it made you who are who you are today. Hundred percent. Lot very very wouldn't change a thing. I don't regret anything at all. But the only thing I'm regretting right now is not having not owning this like six hundred grand in my bank account to <laughs> buy this right now. Because what would it take? Now getting financing on a coach like this. Can you get financing? Uh, so th this this coach is going. I want to see you, buddy. Yeah, this coach is going to be. You know, finance. You, the best source for financing on this coach is going to be Incredible Bank. So, give me a call. I can kind of give you an idea of what they like, what they look for, kind of what their term structures and interest rates are. I haven't, I have an idea of what they do. I've actually done some business with them myself. Uh, so yeah, I'm look, I'm looking for five hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars for this coach, Andrew. Um, and I think this coach is priced right in the market. Yeah. With that five eighty-five. Full PDI inspection at, at East Tennessee Luxury Coach. Uh, yeah. And, and possibly we may throw some iPads in there for you. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Hey, that sounds like a great deal. Now, if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Immediately reach out to me on my cell phone at 859-613-2574, Andrew. Uh, more pictures and, and information's on our website. So if you just want to see more pictures or you want to shoot us an email about the coach, SewellMotorCoach.com. That's spelled S-E-W-E-L-L MotorCoach.com. Hey, Doug, greatly appreciate you for letting me drive this Liberty Coach. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you all. Have a wonderful and blessed day.